Welcome to my channel. Continuation of the Ghana Teacher Line Sexual Examination, the objective test questions, question number 22 upward. So the first question is a woman bought 210 oranges for 65 Ghana CDs, Ghanaian Ghana CDs. She sold all of them at three for two Ghana CDs. So how much profit? did she make so we know before we can make a profit we need to know a cost price on which we are building our selling price so first of all let's find the cost price so we know c stamp cp is for the cost price now the cost price of what of 200 and what 10 oranges so cost price of all the 210 oranges is given to us as 65 Ghana cities. So all of them, this is how much he paid for them. There are 210 of them. All right. Now he decided to sell them. So selling price. But in selling them, he said, Selling all of them at three four, meaning three groups of oranges for two Ghana cities. Another three groups for two Ghana cities. It means for you to get four Ghana cities, you must let go of six oranges. Meaning first group three, second group three, and the first group is two cities, two cities. It means if I divide this into a groups of three. Each of the group will cost what? Two Ghana cities. So the selling price is going to be 210 of the oranges divided by 3 times 2 Ghana cities. So in this case, let's perform our arithmetic. We know 3 is a factor of 21. So it will go there 7 times with the 0, which is a 10. Then we multiply by our Two Ghana cities. Two times seven is fourteen. So fourteen times ten, one forty. One hundred and forty is the selling price of all the oranges. Sixty-five Ghana cities is the cost price. We can see there is an increase from how much you pay for the articles and how much you sold it. So there's a profit. So to find profit, we are aware profit is always selling price minus what? Cost price. How much money does the woman made on top of this money? So this is going to be 140, which is the selling price, minus 65 Ghana cities. And I know if it will be 70 it will have been 140 minus 70 will have been 70. So we are going to have an additional uh, 5. So this will give us 75 Ghana cities as the profit. This is more than 100% profit. So you want to find the percentage. What is the percentage of it? You said how much, okay, how much profit? We are only looking for the profit, not the percentage. But in this, you know, this is more than 100% profit because the cost price was 65 and you are making extra 65 plus 10 cities so more than 100 percent all right question number 23 mark is 30 years old yao is half as old as mark then paul is also 10 years older than what yao so how old is Paul? So in this case, we want to be able to use the names Mark. So let's just say if Mark is having 30 years, then we know that Yao is going to be half of that of Mark, right? Half as old as Mark, so the half age, which is 30 years, and I believe that will give us 15 
Yes. Meaning Yao is half the age of Mark, and Mark is 30, so half of that might give us 15. Then continue, we said Paul is 10 years older than Mark, meaning the, the difference between Paul and Yao is 10. And in this case, older, meaning Paul is higher in terms of age. So if the difference is 10, it means if I add a 10 to that of Yao, I might be getting that of Paul. So Paul will be the age, which is 15, plus the difference, which is 10. So in this case, we can say that Paul will be 25 years old. Question number 24. If the ages of 10 pregnant women in a maternity clinic are given as 26, 23, 24, 27, 26, 21, 22, 25, 23, 23. We have to find the mean age. We are aware that in finding a mean from any data, let's say our mean is always the sigma x over n, where the sigma x stands for the data, the ungrouped data we have. So in this case, our mean is going to be 26 plus. So we are adding all of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The 10 is the n. So we now divide all of them by the number of four data or number of elements present. We are adding 10 of them. And you can see all the 10 column is 2. 2. It means 20. I can ignore the ones column and say 20 up to 10. How many would that be? 20 times 10 will have been 200. So now I'll add the ones digit. This will be 9. 9 plus this will be uh, 13, 20, 27, 29, 30, 34, plus 6. We have 40. So we're adding 40 to this. So our mean will just be 240 divided by number of data, which is 10. This will cancel this. So the mean of the data will be 24 years. It means on average, picking from bottom or picking from front, if you are looking for the average age of the women at the clinic, the average age is going to be 24 years. Question 25. A man has six p sheep and five q goat he sells six p of the sheep and two q of the goat so how many animals are left after the sales so let's just say that if the total animal let's take from the beginning total is going to be the number of sheep plus number of what goat this is the total animal we are having. So this is the total. Then he will decide to subtract three of the sheep. So minus three or four. I think that will be P. So three P. Then at the same time, he is subtracting what? Two of the goat. Don't forget, in this case, it becomes an algebraic expression. Whereby... The P's have a like terms, the Q have a like term. So 6P minus 3P, then plus 5Q minus 2Q. I believe the same P, meaning take away the coefficient alone. 6 minus 3, 3 with the P. Then here, 5 minus 2 will be plus what? 3Q. So we can say this is the answer, or we can factorize the 3 out, P plus Q, to arrive at the other simplified form. To mean these are the total number of animals left. Or there are 3 of the sheep and 3 of the goat left after the seal. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.